Welcome back to part two of my more core extension coding tutorial series. My name is Damien or Damned and in part two we're going to begin customizing the character sheet. So this extension is going to build a retro clone basic expert, probably we'll just start with basic, D&D uh, &D version and it's going to be layered on top of more core. So I just grabbed a basic expert character sheet off the internet and we're going to try and capture as much of this information on our more core character sheet and do it in a way that allows us to add a little bit of automation to our extension rule set. So our character sheet already has a character name, uh, player's names aren't really that important. We need the fields for class, level, alignment, experience, as well as armor class and hit points. Of course we'll get to the rest of the entries but for this tutorial uh, we'll be working in that top section only. Here's our standard default Morgor character sheet and we can see that the name field is already on here and we've got some other fields with generic names, health, defense, wounds and when we look at the notes tab we can see some additional fields. We've got race, gender, age, height, weight, experience, required, and level. So some of those are going to be used in our extension. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new file called strings underscore dbd dot xml and we're going to include that in the extension dot xml. I've now opened up the uh, record car notes from more core and I'm having a look at those entries in that file so you can see that I've highlighted uh, race string labeled name equals race and you can see the label resource or label res called car label underscore race got some other ones there car label underscore gender and we're going to rename these so race is going to be used for class and gender is going to be used for alignment I've added these fields in so you can see I've kept race and gender and I've just changed the values that these resource strings point to. If I save those files now and reload my desktop and uh, switch over to notes you can see that class and alignment um, obviously I felt I couldn't fit all of alignment in there and you can change the length of these fields etc so that they fit or maybe reduce remove age height weight remove any of those that you feel is are unnecessary so that you can make these fields wider if required I've then gone into the I've created a new file or I've gone into our record car more file and or we've created a new one record car more in our extension and you can see here that we've got window class name equals car sheet more merge equals join so merge equals join means that it won't re anything that's defined in here by name will any values that are in this will overwrite the values that are in the original setup but any values that are not changed or mentioned in my extension it will use the ones from the existing files. Whereas if I used replace then it would only use the values in here and disregard everything else. So we're only basically changing health to HP, defense to AC and we're changing order to init. And you can see so window class name we've done a join and then string user edit name merge equals join. You can see sheet data it doesn't have a name we can't merge that value you can only merge items that have that are named and you can see I've included this new file include file source equals common record car more.xml and I'm using the same file locations as the rule set now when I reload this you can see in the combat frame that health is H is now HP, armor class, or defense is now AC, and order is now in it. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you're following along and perhaps even starting to build your own 
basic rule set extension in parallel to what we're doing here and just working along customizing things step by step.